Hi everyone, today we're going to be learning about Kinesia canadensis L. Cronquist, formerly known as Origeron canadensis L. However, it's more commonly known as Canadian horseweed, horseweed fleabane, and mare's tail. Now for the sake of today's video, we're just going to be referring to it as horseweed. Horseweed is a herbaceous annual plant that grows to be about 0.3 to 2.1 meters tall. Now typically, the stem of horseweed is unbranched at the base, then becomes densely branched at the top of the plant. This species is really quite interesting because it's developed resistance to many different types of herbicides, so that makes it kind of difficult to get rid of. Additionally, the leaves and flowers of this species contain a chemical compound called terpene, which can cause skin irritation in some people and the livestock. If we take a look at a distribution map of North America, we'll see that horseweed is native to most of North America. While it is native, it can be aggressive in a lot of areas, especially disturbed ones. So proper management of this species is needed to prevent it from becoming very weedy. This species will be mostly found growing practically everywhere, but it grows best in hardiness zones 3 through 10. When it comes to horseweed's natural environment, it prefers open areas, but it's adapted to a pretty wide range of environmental conditions. This species can typically be found in places like farms or other disturbed sites, such as on roadsides or in prairies or meadows. Horseweed is a strong competitor for water and it is a fast grower, so it will quickly outcompete other plants. Horseweed will start out its life as a basil rosette, which looks like a very small head of lettuce. Unfortunately, I don't have a photo of it in that state, but it will then shoot up a big pubescent stem that has leaves arranged in an alternating pattern. If the seeds of this species germinate in the fall, the rosette will go through winter, then form a shoot in the summer. However, this species can just have seeds that germinate in the spring, then shoot up in the summer. For that reason, this species is known as both a summer and a winter annual. Now, if we take a look at the leaves of this species, they are simple and thin, and you can't really see it, but they're also pubescent. Sometimes the leaves can be toothed, but other times they're more smooth. Additionally, the foliage of this species feeds many beetles, mock larvae, and a variety of other insects. Mammals won't typically eat horseweed because it's a bit too bitter, but deer will occasionally eat the young plants. Now the flower heads of horseweed bloom June through September in a panicle inflorescence. Each inflorescence has many flower heads and each flower head has 20 to 45 white to purplish female ray flowers and 8 to 20 yellow perfect disc flowers. The flower heads are surrounded by phylaries that are green, nearly hairless, and very thin. A horseweed plant will bloom for about two to three weeks and will be pollinated by bees and flies. After pollination takes place, achenes with white bristly pappus form. These seeds are dispersed by the wind and are known to travel pretty far due to that. There have been reports of horseweed seeds going as far as 500 meters from a source population. Considering each plant can produce more than 200,000 seeds, no wonder this species has a tendency to spread so rapidly. Alrighty, thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed learning about horseweed, otherwise known as Kinesia canadensis with me. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you all in my next video.